Hey guys, this is the Ebbets Rock episode. I just kind of wanted to give this little intro here because I wanted to explain some of the info that I don't think would come across very well through the video, and I don't think the description would be a very good spot to put that here. Usually that's what I use to convey the information that I don't think comes across well in the commentary, but I don't think it would serve a purpose here. So, I had a couple alternate ideas for getting through this dungeon before I came up with the strat I'm using now. Basically, I thought... My first thought was obviously running around randomly, and I think that's a terrible strategy, because I hit a lot of encounters trying to get through. I mean, I'd probably just get stuck running back and forth between the same place over and over again at some point, or not be able to find the switch in a particular room. So I think that would just be a pain in the butt to watch. It would take super long, and it would... I'd have to fight through a lot of random encounters, which is, of course, bad. The second thought I had was much cleaner than the first, but I didn't really like it entirely. Basically, it was walking up to the first switch from the entrance room, and then sometimes, like on occasion, I'll appear just to the right of a chest. So I take one step to the left, check if a chest is there, and if it's not, just warp out of the dungeon, and just wash, rinse, and repeat until... I have enough coral, but that that seems kind of boring, I think. I think it doesn't really play with the main gimmick of the dungeon, which is kind of why I prefer this way better. So first off, I'm going to give some background information for how the dungeon actually works so that the rest of the explanation makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Basically the chest, you, know, you have to feed it uh, coral, which you already know, but the important thing to note is that it takes exactly 22 coral to feed the chest, and uh, if you try to feed it less coral, it doesn't accumulate. So if you feed it 21 coral, it's gone. You wasted your time. So you want to make sure you have 22 coral before you feed the chest anything. And as a corollary to that, it means that I absolutely don't want to talk to the chest in until I have 22 coral. So I want to make sure I absolutely don't go near it. And I also want to make sure that I get around 11 chests or so, because that's probably going to be enough. The chests give 1, 2, 3, or 5 coral a piece, and they seem to be evenly distributed. I can't say that for sure, I've got nothing backing that up, but they seem about evenly distributed. So on average, 11 chests should be far more than enough to get 22 coral, even though it theoretically might not be enough, because theoretically I could only get 11, but... I'm just gonna go through and hope that I, I get enough, and I probably will. So as for the main mechanics of the dungeon, I'm just gonna show the dungeon on the screen right now, and these are all the possible rooms you can appear in, and you may be thinking right now, like, I, I swear I remember some rooms that weren't on there, like, longer and more slender rooms, that sort of thing, like, kinda looked like these, but not really. But basically, these rooms are the only ones you can appear in. The trick is that the game also randomly opens up passageways between these rooms when you step on the switch. So the, the passageways will constantly be changing. And that's what will uh, make it seem like there's a lot more different types of rooms than there actually are. So I'm putting them up on the screen, but... The majority of these actually don't affect me at all, like there's no way I'll accidentally walk into them. So I'll get rid of uh, all the ones that don't matter at all. Okay, the first thing to note about this dungeon is that I'll be holding A at all times. This just makes sure that I'll grab any chests that I happen to come across. Now as I said before, I don't want to run into the chest that eats the coral prematurely, so it kind of forces my hand. in case. Just in case I happen to land in the chest room, I always want to walk straight down first all the way to make sure that I'll exit that room immediately if I happen to appear in it so that I don't run into the chest by mistake. But the trick to this dungeon is that what happens when I'm in any of the other 11 rooms that are scattered around. Now, I can only appear in one spot in each room, so there's only one place that I have to be aware of for each of these rooms. So. For instance, if I'm in room 8, I'll just walk all, all the way down, hit the teleporter, and I'll be out of that room. So that one kind of is a non-event because I'm already leaving it anyway. 
If I'm in the entrance room to the dungeon, I'll just walk straight out of the dungeon, and obviously I'll know where I am at that point, so just walk back in and continue on from there. In most other cases, I'm just going to hit a wall, so nothing special there, but I do have to note where I'll end up because that'll be important later. Now, the, the trickiest one is that if I'm in room 4, it depends on whether the bottom passageway is open, whether I'm going to just hit a wall or whether I'm going to run down straight all the way through the passageway and grab that chest that's down in room 7. And if I'm in room 2 and the bottom passageway is open, I'll run down and grab the chest in room 4. So at that point I still don't know which of the two I'm in. But at that point I can go all the way up. If I hear the chest noise, I go all the way back up. And if I started in room 2, I'll hit the teleporter in room 2 and that one's off the list. And if I'm in room 4 and the top passageway is open as well as the bottom passageway, I'll run straight up through the bottom passageway back into room 4 and then straight up through the bottom pa the top passageway back into room 1 and grab the chest in there for kind of a twofer and from there I know where I am so I can navigate to the exit and if I hear nothing the bottom passageway in room 4 was open but the top passageway wasn't so at that point I'll walk back up and hit a wall and get hear nothing so I'll know I'm in room 4 and I'll exit in room 4 so the next step overall is to go all the way back up, and there's a couple reasons why I want to do that next. It knocks off a couple rooms off the list, and it's really important to get rid of the save point room, because I'm pretty sure that one shows up more commonly than any other room in the dungeon. So that's definitely one that I want to get rid of on the list very quickly. The other important thing is that it also means that when I go back in to fight Hayden later, like, 95% of this route is not going to change at all. Pretty much the only thing that will change is room 8. And the chest room, obviously, but... So that's the that really important reason why going up is the next thing that I should do. So, if I'm in room 2, and the bottom passageway was not open, now's the time when I'll exit. So, that, that one's completely done now. If I'm in the save point room, I'll hit the save point, obviously I'll know where I am because there's only one save point in the dungeon, so then I leave. And if I'm in room 4 and the top passageway was open but the bottom passageway was not open, then now I'll grab the chest in room 1 and leave through room 1. However, in this case I don't know if I'm that I'm in room 4 if I don't hear a noise because I could be in one of the many other rooms where I just run into a wall. And... Also note, though, that in room 7, if the top passageway is open, I won't run through it. Like, I won't run all the way through it up into room 4. That that just won't happen because I'm not lined up with it. But there's some aesthetic changes in the rock around there, and it means that if the top passageway is open, I'll end up one space higher than if the top passageway isn't open. And that will actually mess things up later, so I have to be prepared for that. Okay, so if you notice, in both room in 3 and room 6, I'm standing one step to the left of the switch. So, I mean, it's super obvious that I should just take one step right here. Get rid of two rooms for exactly one step. That It's no-brainer. So, the only other thing to note is that in some rooms, like room 5, I am already up, pressed up against the wall there, so I'm not going to actually take a step right. But in any case, I'm just going to be taking a step right or running into a wall. Nothing spectacular in any of the other rooms. But in room 5, this means that if I take left one step, I, I'm already right next to the chest pretty much. So I grab that, and then it's easy enough to exit from there. So that costs, for the total of two steps, I get rid of three rooms on my list, and I also get a chest in one of them. So, super easy choice. But now so where it starts to get a little bit, bit more complicated. The, my next movement is to take one step down and one step left. And if you notice, there's five different possibilities of what could be happening right now. And this gets rid of one immediately, because in room four, I'll just leave the room. And it divides the others uh, nicely. So if I don't hear a chest noise, that means that I'm either in room 9 or I'm in room 7 and the top passageway is open, because that means that I took one step up farther than I would have otherwise, 
which means I'm now standing above the chest instead of running into the chest and grabbing it. So that means I want to check down below me because the chest is theoretically one spot below me if I'm in room 7. So I check below me and if I hear the chest, it's easy enough to just walk around the chest to reach the exit and that's done and over with. And if I don't hear a chest at that point, I'm in room 9, which means that I mean, I could just exit immediately, but I'm already standing like right next to a chest and I know where it is. So I go left to grab the chest, and then I easily navigate out of room 9. Now after that down and left that I did earlier, if I did hear a chest noise, I'm either in room 1 or I'm in room 7, and I can't really tell the difference at this point, but if I walk clockwise around the chest, I'm getting closer to the exit in room 1 at least, and if I'm in room 7, I, I'll reach the exit right then and there. So at that point, room 1's the only possibility if I haven't already exited the room, so I just go left and up and reach the exit of room 1, and that's one cycle complete for sure. Basically, I just have to follow this algorithm over and over again every time I teleport out of a room. I can just restart from the beginning, and everything should be good to go. There's plenty of opportunities to grab chests. If I'm in room 5, I get a chest and I barely take any steps at all. If I'm in room 4, I essentially get a chest for every passageway that's open, top and bottom. And if I'm in... What was the other room? If I'm if I'm in room seven, I'll grab the chest for sure. No matter, regardless, it'll just be a slightly different route. So let's get to the actual recording. All right, then, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So the next place that was voted on was Ebbets Rock, and I've already got a plan to get through there. So it's not going to be a random luck fest or an extreme pain in the butt. I made this, uh, I set this all up during my BFLLG, so here it's just plug and play essentially. Just gotta run through the uh, steps and the notes that I left for myself, just in case I forgot. Although then again, I, I did have my recording that I could also go back to, so there's that as well. So yeah, not much else to say because this is just mashed through the cutscenes. This cutscene doesn't give me a good indication of when it's over, but whatever. I've already probably given all the exposition for Evett's Rock itself in the intro, so nothing but that here. Haydn will probably be his own part. Because I'm suspecting this will take probably a good half an hour to 40 minutes. So, I don't think it's going to need Haydn here. But there's no way this bit's being its own segment, so I, I gotta tack this on the start. So yeah, this cutscene goes on for a while and doesn't give me a very good indication when it's over, but on the positive side, I just walk in to town essentially to start the cutscene up, and when the cutscene ends it just dumps me outside of Strago's house, so there's not much navigation to do. I don't have to get out of Strago's house even, so... It's mostly just mashing through this cutscene here. Here we go. All the way down. There's an NPC here who can get in the way a lot. I don't like him very much. Left for a bit. Down. Left. And hopefully down and out. There we go. Easy as pie, but obviously that's not what you were looking for when you came to watch this. Alright, so let's uh, try to take on the actual dungeon now. <coughs> and now I don't know where I am. Hooray! So all the way down to the bottom. Just gotta follow the steps. All the way up to the top. Nothing yet, still. Oh, that was worthless. All the way down. Worthless. Up. Okay, now I hit a battle. I'm going up at the beginning. Alright, so... Now I am... Uh, Realm or Gogo. This appears to be Realm. So this is, might be a preemptive strike. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Meteor. 
because that's a good opening for uh, the Dumpties and the Warlocks. Not so good for the Black Bears. Uh, noise Blaster. That's a good opening for the Black Bears. And Bad Breath. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Poison. So let's see what they do before I have Realm take another turn. Because that should tell me a lot about what's actually going to happen. Um, I heard a mist noise and a claw noise. Nothing else, so it's probably black bears. Flare... Wait, what? Oh wait, this is Gogo again? Is that... how is that... I'm surprised he beat Realm if that's the case. Flare, nothing, Doom. It's supposed to be Strago. Oh, did I just... Oh wait, it's a side attack, so I... I almost just doomed one of my own party members. That would have been a sucky end. Well, it wouldn't have been an end of anything, but... Uh, so this is Strago. What do I actually want him to do? I don't think there's anything he wants to do in the Black Bear fight that much. Uh, you can fire too. If I'm correct, Realm should be targeting... Get out of the way, Gogo. -Go. If I'm correct, Realm should be targeting the one on the left by default. So I just need to target the one on the right. Goodbye. Oh, I hope I didn't mix up Strago and Terra. Yep, I totally mixed up Strago and Terra. Whatever. doesn't make that big a difference, because Doom will probably just be the end of the fight anyway. Unless I have a really weird luck. Considering these guys have 12,000 HP, which is crazy. Um, dang it, I had Strago use Arrow again because I'm an idiot. Uh, I might as well have Gogo use Blitz right now. And that's not Blitz. L R L R Y X. Might as well get the party some MP back while I'm doing nothing else. Wow, she actually killed it. Of course, I'm wasting a lot of time with poison and stuff. Alright, so I'm going upward right now. But first, I should probably check my HP. Yeah, as I figured, that didn't go too badly. And everyone's definitely still alive. I'm gonna skip that part. Didn't think so. They can't zombify, so that's it for that. All the way up for the... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna do anything right now because I haven't done anything yet. I haven't found any treasures. I haven't... So there's no reason to save that. I'll save if I get something useful, and I'll use a tent if I feel like I'm probably getting low. <sighs> Another battle. Still no results, but... Okay. Okay, punch. So that means that's either a Dumpty or an Apinicus. This is Gogo. -Go. Still should probably confuse for the moment because that's a useful thing to do in this dungeon. This is uh, Terra. Okay, two punches. That me must. I think that definitely implies that Dumpty's Warlocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poison. This should be Realm. She'll be wanting to space flare meteor. And this is Strago. He wants to bad breath. Gogo's turn should come up next. So probably won't bother with the confuse again. L R L R X Y. This party is pretty much all mages just through happenstance, so no reason not to do this. 
poison the left warlock so it dies a little bit faster. Ouch, someone actually took some damage there. Whoever's got the Zephyr Cape, which is Gogo. -Go. Well, I want Realm to just murder these guys in the face, so... That should be the end of that fight. I'm fairly certain. Oh, apparently it wasn't. What was that? Um, so who am I controlling now? This is Strago. Uh, just Arrow, because that's okay. This is Gogo. -Go. So he's not dead, apparently. Bioblaster, hopefully to help kill things. Poison again, although Break might have been better. Hopefully this finishes everything. How is everything not dead yet? This doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> oh wait, it's one of these guys. That explains it. Maybe they have punching attacks too. Well in that case, what I've been doing so far is pretty much a waste of time. Let's get on the actual way I'm, I should be killing them. Rasp, since they're undead. Rasp isn't normally very useful, but it's useful here for once. This is Gogo. -Go. You can't do much else, so I'm gonna have you do that. This is uh, Terra. Get out of the way. Oh, is Strago dead? Because he's not doing a whole lot. Yeah, this thing's wrecking me because I identified it so slowly. Dang it, one of the rasps missed. Holy cow, stop it. You still can't do anything. Just gotta get for Realm to wait for Realm to get back around again. Cause the Rasp because I don't have much of a form of offense against this guy. Really my only way of identifying him was mostly just acid rain and uh, flash rain. Well I guess Realm and Terra are the only ones getting that EXP. Let's just double check the other two, I guess. Lots of dried meat. I don't care, it doesn't cost that much. As long as I don't run out or something. But I can still go back into the shop in the middle of this dungeon because it's weird. Uh, Phoenix down, Remedy. She needed that, apparently. And no one needs to be revived, I'm pretty sure. Revivified, anyway. So I'm still going down, I think. Now I go up. Okay. I'm out of that room. And I'm going down. Up. Still haven't found a single chest yet. That kind of sucks. But. Right. Left. Down. Left. Down. Left. Okay. One chest out of eleven. Okay. Nothing yet. All the way up. Still nothing. Right. Left. Down. Left. Down. Left. Well, uh, that's two chests from room nine. Finally making some progress here. Two out of eleven that I'm going to grab, unless I need more. All the way down. Still nothing. All the way up. Another battle. Going up. Have to remember that. I'm going up right now. Okay, this is Terra. 
I heard a punch, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two punches. Okay. Unless I was. I'm making the same mistake as last time. I think it has to be double Dumpty, double Warlock. Okay, this is Gogo. Let's set him to use Noise Blaster. This is Realm. I don't remember where I put her cursor, so let's reset this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Meteor. Two down to bad breath. And let's hope that it's the battle that I think it is. I heard another attack in there, so maybe that's a good sign. So I don't think if it were, if there were only two enemies, I don't think they would have attacked that quickly. This is Terra, right? So let's target the back one. And this should be Gogo again. Not so important. His role isn't as important in this battle as the other as in the Black Bear battle, so I'm gonna have him use Mantra right now. Realm's the most likely to need to Osmos, but she's also the easiest to do it with, essentially. It's Meteor again. This is probably Strago, so let's not have him do anything. If they survive the Meteor, like last time, something's wrong again. Yep. So yeah, I guess that Gorsia enemy definitely has physical attacks, like the regular punch noise for its physical attacks. Out of the way, Terra. This is just Go-Go again, isn't it? Rasp doesn't take much MP, so... They are only gaining MP as long as Gogo's still alive. Rasp. Hopefully they won't nobody will start dying either this time. Out of the way. Hopefully that's the end, and Rasp didn't miss. I almost think Rasp should hit more often, considering it's already having problems with being useful. Oh wait, but I guess then again it's a uh, character. It could hit the characters as well, so I guess that's where the balance is there. Phoenix down. Nobody just somehow died last minute through magical... I don't know. Oh, I'm kind of using more, Phoenix, more dried meats than I expected. But then again, I'm also getting more Gorsias than I expected, too. So, I guess that's kind of where the problem is coming from. I don't think anyone's zombified all the way up. I remembered very clearly that time. Going up. Right. Left. Down. Left. Okay. So, that means I have to do clockwise around the chest. There we go. That's three chests I am up to right now. I'm almost hoping to get a chance to save an now. My wish was not granted, apparently. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. Left? That's not left, that's right. Well, that was nothing. Nothing. Nothing! Well, that was a whole lot of nothing, but... Let's see. Not in the save point room, I guess. Didn't hit a battle going up either, so I must not be running around that much. Right? Well, okay. Okay, I hit the overworld. So that gives me an opportunity to tent up and save. Dried meat, Phoenix down, Remedy, Revivify, tent. Hooray! I think that's the first time I've ever used a tent while actually blindfolded. For some reason, I guess that just hasn't been a thing I've had to do yet. Okay, so I'll keep the recording running for now. But I'll have to find this point if I do happen to die or something goes wrong. So I'm at three chests right now.
But of course, if I mess up, I don't have to remember that, probably. All the way down. All the way up. Oh, save point. Well, I can't use that to actually check the number of chests I've gotten, unfortunately, so I've just got to keep going. Okay, another battle. I'm just going down at the start. You know, I'm almost debating just... You know what, maybe I'll just cut the recording. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not at this point. So I almost want to cut the recording and check how much I got, but... This is go-go at any rate. Uh, what? <laughs> Noise blaster everything. To keep as many things under wraps as possible. Exactly two misses. I'm almost starting to think this is a black bear battle, although maybe the other enemies just haven't attacked yet. I don't know, maybe I'll sit on Realm's turn for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poison. This must be Strago, I think. Yeah, he must have just been imped uh, or something. Before I use the tent, maybe. I don't know. Cause that's the only way that makes sense to me, that he ended up on magic. Oh, it's another one of you guys. Well, I'm glad I sat on Realm's turn now, even though if it wasn't like, at all what I expected. I thought this was the rare encounter in here, so... I'm surprised that I'm running into so many of them. Like, before it would only show up once in a blue moon, and now it's showing up like once every single battle. <laughs> Almost. Of course, that uh, Apinicus guy in the back is just going like, Oh, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna hit myself and do stuff with... Oh, that was bad breath. S getting confused there for a second. Do I have anything important I want you to do right now? No, I don't think I do. LR, LR, or YX. And then... Whoops, what am I doing? Now that I know what battle it is, I know what I probably want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Break the Apinicus, because he's I'm gonna need to do damage to him after all. And now it's Strago's Now it's not Strago's turn apparently. Rum somehow beat Strago. <laughs> so slow. Definitely Strago. Let's see, does he die? Oh, he did. Well, let's have Strago defend then and not do anything. Oh yeah, I guess that's how Strago was on magic before. L R L R Y X. Break again. This is probably Realm. Why don't I sit tight until I can put Strago back on lore so I don't forget? And now maybe I'll flare for good measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Flare in the face. That should be the end of him, so that's the end of one more encounter, and I'm going down. I don't mean that I'm going down as that I'm losing, but I think I've made that joke several times already. Down, and it appears to be a wash. There's nothing here. All the way up. Another save point. Hooray. It's worthless right now. I haven't done anything useful. Down. Up. Another fight. I'm going up now. Alright, this is Realm. Oh, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Meteor. So this is probably preemptive. Thankfully, my characters will likely take care of any fight from a preemptive strike fairly easily. Because I can incapacitate everything with bad breath and noise blaster right away. And Terra. Oh. Well, I just realized I don't really know how to set her from break back to 
poison as easily as I can do the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poison. I thought this would be going faster because I thought I'd be getting more chests and battles, but apparently not. And I heard a punch again. I'm starting to almost worry that it... Yeah, the first punch noise was on the right side. So I think that implies that it has to be a Gorsia again. This is Gogo. -Go. So he's not doing anything in that case. I swear, I wasn't getting nearly so many of these guys before. Yep, I was, in, I was actually correct about that. I was hardly prepared for them at all because I didn't think they'd be an issue at all, but... Rasp it. Uh, this is Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Break the... Break the Epinicus. Rasp. Hopefully that guy's dead just as nicely as last time. I just realized that I keep forgetting to heal my characters. That's a really dumb thing to do. Okay. He's gone. So this must be Gogo, -Go, I think. That thing just got off a confuse. Probably not a big deal. Um, because he's got a flare that's about to be shoved right down his throat in two seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Flare. Break. And that should be the end of that fight. Realm's flare damage is getting extremely high now because I can boost her magic power to the moon by this point. Alright, I'm going up now. Let's not forget to heal. I feel like I got a lot of stuff because... That battle... The battle message just didn't disappear for a while there. Nope, no one needed Phoenix Downing. Everyone seems to be pretty low, though. Remedy? And that's the extent of what I needed to check there. Going up, I think. <laughs> Another save point. Good for that. Nice, okay. So this is either room 2 with the bottom passageway open, or room 4 with the bottom passageway open. And now it must be room 4 with the bottom passageway open and the top passageway closed. Down. Oh. Seems to be the same dilemma here. I've got five chests now. Don't want to die now. That would be a bad time to die. Okay, so who are you? You are Gogo. -Go. Hooray! I can't tell anything from misses, but at the same time, they're not doing anything either. <laughs> so I can't complain too loudly. Okay, this must be Terra. And I know what battle it is for sure now. Although, at the same time, it just got took a flare to the face. So, I can't celebrate too loudly either. Um, so what do I want you to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get some minor bonus damage off on those warlocks. This has to be Realm, so... I somehow keep messing that up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Meteor them. Oh yeah, right. I didn't need to move Strago off of Rasp, but I just... Bad breath. What was that? It sounded like Drain, but I didn't have anyone using Drain. Unless I set Terra to do that by accident. Which case, oops. Alright. L R L R Y X. Yep. 
I set Terra to do that by accident. One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes me dumb, but whatever. Poison. Maybe I should even have Ramtasa reach an X on the pile. Because this battle is fairly heavily nerfed with bad breath. And my characters are pr have probably taken some damage. From between Demi and Flare there, that is. Uh, and I might as well have you use Arrow. Which will go af off after the region X anyway for added bonus. Just to make sure I heal... It sounded weird, like it wasn't hitting everyone. I don't know, maybe I'm just going crazy. That's a few things dead. That must be Go Go then, right? Yep. Uh, Bio Blaster for good measure. Okay, that's the end of that fight. So I just got the chest in room 4, so now I'm going up. Nice! The only way I can get two chests in one go. That's up to six chests. I've doubled my chest count, but if I don't get out of here it'll be a double or nothing scenario, so I need to either escape the dungeon or hit the save point at some point here. Ah, well, that's pretty good timing I think. Alright. Dried meat, Phoenix down, Remedy Revive of High Tent. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to bother checking the recording for to see how much coral I have. I'm just going to keep on going. Till I die or get my original slated guess of 11 chests to complete the dungeon. Let's save again, because otherwise I might forget to use the tent. Because I do that all the time. I save, do something, and then forget to do the something again after I reload the save. Well, I'm still in the save point room. Not much to remember here. Okay, this is Go-Go. That gives some time to Noise Blaster in case it's Black Bears. I'll sit on your turn, I think. Um, this is Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poison. This is still Realm because Realm hasn't done anything. Okay, there's a Black Bear for sure. That's one thing to know. Meaning that poison spell was probably utter garbage. Well, actually, no, it could be Black Bear Warlock something. Okay. Bad breath. Okay, it's double Black Bear for sure. So let's uh, not use Meteor here. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doom. And Gogo can spend this turn restoring MP because he didn't do anything they didn't do anything that would take them off let's menu trick until Gogo's turn is over not that it's very big not that it's big a deal anymore you can defend I don't need you I don't need you to do anything just have realm and Gogo do their thing they're even blinded for good measure, and my characters have good evasion, so they're not too badly set up. Well, that didn't work. Oh, shoot. Well, that was dumb. Well, thankfully that blind plus evasion came in. Handy. Just gonna double check that it's Realm this time. And Noise Blaster. Still nothing. Wow. Um, you better f better work this time. That's all I'm gonna say. If it doesn't work this time, I'm ditching you and I'm grabbing uh, Cyan instead. Yeah, he'd he'd be a great choice. He'd be very helpful. All right, save point room. Let's just get out of the save point room. All the way down. Doesn't appear to be anything down here, this time around at least. So I've, I've saved it at six chests, that's good to know. That appears to have done nothing. Let me guess, a dead room? Apparently not. It's this room, room five. 
up to seven chests. All the way down. I appear to have run some distance. Maybe I'm in the, en the entrance room. Uh. Dang it, I think I just messed up Realm's thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is go-go, meaning this is probably preemptive. Let's have him noise blaster everything. You know, break might, might probably does more damage on average, and I don't think I'm close to running Terra out of MP under any circumstances, so... Maybe I should have Terra just open with break instead of poison. Alright, let's sit on Realm's turn for the moment. Wait till they go. Uh... Are they gonna go? One of them died for some reason. I'll take that, but... I don't... I swear that all they're doing is sitting there and dying. Like, what do you make of that? Okay, may maybe this is double Dumpty, double Warlock. I don't know. Let's just use Break for some reason, I guess. If I'm wrong, I just wasted a bunch of time, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Alright, still going down. Oh, no, it turned out to be room 4. That's chest 8. Oh, no, wait. I forgot room 2 is a possibility as well. Room 2 with the bottom passageway open. I didn't even know that was a possibility during my uh, BFLLG, so I, I just kind of got lucky that it happened to fit perfectly into my strategy, where not only do I get the chest, I also exit afterwards. It's like, how could that possibly work out any better? So that appears to be nothing so far. Right? Left? Oh, we're up to nine chests. So almost at the point where I said I'd probably stop. And of course I've got warp whistles, I know how so I can get out of here immediately when that happens. Up. Nothing. Okay. Right. Left. Down. Left. Okay. Down clockwise around the chest. And that leaves one possibility. Dang it! That's a terrible place to get a battle. Up and lefting. Gotta remember to do up and left afterwards. Um... So this is Go-Go. Open with your stereotypical noise blaster. What is that? I... don't... remember, or maybe I never found out in the first place what that was. Because that noise kind of confuses me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Guess I could open with meteor then. It's probably not bears. Maybe that's something the Gorsia can do. Oh no, it must. Maybe it's something the Epinicus can do. I don't know really. Oh, maybe this is. Maybe this is Terra because. Uh... She might have too low MP now for the Esper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm, what? Okay. What does that imply? Strago with... Maybe it's Strago. Uh, but that doesn't make sense either. Did I mess up and get player 2 noise? Maybe it's... Maybe, yeah, maybe it was player 2, in which case it's Realm. That's the only character I can think of. I guess I messed up player 1 and player 2 noise. 
One, two... Oops. Alright, I'm thinking she might be out of MP as well. Osmo's the thing in front, because it's got to be a Warlock. Sounds like it's on the left side. This seems like it's Strago. Bad breath. I heard an imp, that's not good. Noise blaster. Although that was probably dumb. I probably should have gone for extra MP there. Maybe Terra's completely out of MP somehow. I swear this is realm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Either way, meteor to the face because I know which battle it is. Wait, maybe it's. It, maybe Terra and Imp. That would explain everything. Alright, not that I can do much with her, but might as well reheal that Imp. Dried meat, Phoenix down, remedy. That would explain everything, after all. Let's go for more MP. LR, LR, YX. This is Strago still. Let's use Arrow. And this is Realm. Because I was being an idiot with her earlier. Hopefully that Arrow will do them in anyway, so it doesn't won't matter, but... There we go. Alright. Oh. It's the end of that area. Down. Up. Right. Left. Down. Left. Okay, it's another one of these cases. Oh yeah, I completely forgot what I was doing. Well, it's a good thing I was one step from the tile then, or else I would have uh, messed that up royally. Down... around the chest. There we go. Down. Okay. That's probably... I think I'm at 11 now, aren't I? Wait. Where did I leave my cursor? So I obviously can't save. But I swear it would have been on items. Okay. There we go. Dried meat, Phoenix down. R Remedy, Revivify. Tent. Warp whistle. Okay. We'll see if that's enough, I guess. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. If so, then see you next time, I guess.